You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible Putting 5-Step Bible to the Test Ezekiel 28 verse 11 following OK, I didn't choose the most difficult passage in the Bible or even the most difficult passage in Ezekiel but Ezekiel's so full of difficult passages that this one's pretty good and pretty difficult Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me Mortal, raise a lamentation over the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God You were the signet ring of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty You were in Eden, the garden of God Every precious stone was your covering Carnelian, chrysolite and moonstone Beryl, onyx and jasper Sapphire, turquoise and emerald And worked in gold were your settings and your engravings On the day that you were crafted, they were prepared With an anointed cherub as guardian I placed you you were on the holy mountain of God You walked among the stones of fire You were blameless in your ways From the day that you were created Until iniquity was found in you In the abundance of your trade You were filled with violence And you sinned So I cast you as a profane thing From the mountain of God And the guardian cherub drove you out From among the stones of fire Your heart was proud because of your beauty You corrupted your wisdom For the sake of your splendor I cast you to the ground, I exposed you before kings to feast their eyes on you By the multitude of your iniquities, in the unrighteousness of your trade, you profaned your sanctuaries So I brought out fire from within you, it consumed you, and I turned you to ashes on the earth In the sight of all who saw you, all who know you among the peoples are appalled at you You have come to a dreadful end, and shall be no more for ever there, I told you it was difficult Remember the five-step process? What did it mean? What's different? What does it say about theology? With the Old Testament, how does Jesus fulfill it? Or what difference does it make to read AD, not BC? And therefore, what does it mean? OK, let's try those five steps on this really difficult passage Although in this podcast, since it's nearly half done, we'll only get step one done the first thing though is to avoid the temptation of looking at the details too closely before we've really looked at the whole thing and that's what all those wonderful people who think they're really clever interpreters of prophecy will do look close at the details see the trees and forget the forest so let's make sure in this first step that we look at the forest what was this passage about when Ezekiel preached it to the exiles in Babylon What did they get from it? There's loads of imagery and pictures in this passage Some of them are obvious to us And some of them are less than obvious And why they're applied to the king of Tyre isn't so obvious Let's come back to that First, there's the picture of Eden And there are loads of echoes in verses 13 and 14 To the story in Genesis chapter 2 but there's all that stuff about being placed in the holy mountain of God and about being made into a ring we could easily get sidetracked on any of these details for five days, let alone five minutes but remember, notice the forest what was this about when Ezekiel preached it to his first hearers? well, don't be daft, he tells us right at the beginning verse 11 Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me Mortal, raise a lamentation over the king of Tyre and say to him Duh, Ezekiel told us what it's about, it's about the king of Tyre No, it's not about Satan Well, not directly It's about the king of Tyre If Ezekiel tells us it's about the king of Tyre then we need a pretty good reason for disagreeing with him, don't we? So, all that stuff about Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden well, presumably it means that the king of Tyre was claiming some relationship to the first man Kings in the ancient world use all sorts of excuses to claim authority And Ezekiel was reminding his hearers that the first man was chucked out of Eden for sin And that the king of Tyre has been pretty good at sinning himself and Ezekiel tells his listeners what the sin was It was allowing the Tyrians to be greedy merchants 
ripping off their customers. In the abundance of your trade, verse 16, you were filled with violence and you sinned. You see, the details may be really puzzling, awfully difficult to understand, and rather mysterious. But if you look at the forest, not the trees, or not the trees first, and you ask what would it have meant to the first hearers, what you get is actually fairly clear. Ezekiel is preaching about the king of Tyre. Tyre has been a greedy, brutal merchant power, and God is punishing them. And in this passage, the specific way in which he's punishing them is by doing away with their king.